What's up guys, it's Boomsby4 Bros. This is my first ever how-to video for 4th of July 2012. It's a nice little trick I know. It's called Double Crossing, a double cross made by Big Fireworks. They're 200 gram cakes. This is what you'll need. First off, you have to have two double crosses made by Big. They're 200 gram cakes, 10 shots. They're really nice cakes. They got a really nice effect. The reason why I want to do two of them together is because the effect is beautiful in the air. Like I said, you'll need two of the cakes. You need four foot long shims, just regular wood shims, a wire cutter, some fuse, a couple of zip ties, and some aluminum tape, and you're good to go. See, when you're stringing up fireworks, you want to have it so that uh, your leader line actually goes directly towards the source. So you got to first find your wick, which is hidden behind this little protector. It's a nice thing to have on these uh, 500 gram cakes or 200 gram cakes. So you can see here, I'm feeling it. I can feel it coming through and it feels like it's going down here. So to keep things safe, I'm going to go on the outside, cut it open. Lo and behold, yeah, the wick's coming down here. So you had this much sticking out of your papering, but it's actually going down that much more. If you didn't know that, you'd have a big problem with your timing. Now when you're cutting the shims, you want to be real careful. You have to cut them down the middle. After you do so, you should have four wide pieces and four thin pieces. You take two of the wide pieces and two of the thin pieces, put them together to create another wedge, and tape. You should have two of those wedges actually taped, one with a wide end and one with a, one with a thin end. You take those and you put the wide end towards the top of the cake and you tape it on there. You do it to both with a little bit of space in between for more stability and tape those two to the cake. Connecting the, uh, the two fuses with the gray wick, instantaneous wick from Big Fireworks. You're going to mark it out, measure your lead line, and then have a little bit extra for our talent igniter. I should be using brass cutters, but I don't have any, so I'm just using that. That's why I'm doing this outdoors. And then once you get that set up, you want to have your flame go actually into the direction of the wick, so that's why I'm tying it in this direction. Start from the last cake first. Just makes things easier. It's my my own preference. I bought these zip ties in a package of a thousand. Cheaper that way. Probably go through about 500 of them a year with my fireworks show. Maybe a little overkill, but you can't you can't over overemphasize doing things right the first time. Not having any problems during your show. So I do two. Per wick, and as you can see here, the, the gray wick doesn't just doesn't just stop right here. It actually goes right towards the edge of the hole. So hopefully, in theory, it should light it from there as well, and that way you can get an instant ignition on both cakes. Okay, so I'm going to cover the wick with this tape right here. A uh, common myth in fireworks is that if you cover stuff with tape, uh, it won't ignite. Most wick nowadays, if not all of it, from what I've seen, carries its own oxygen source. So when I cover it like this. Uh, there, because of a lack of oxygen, it'll still light up because there's an oxygen source actually in the wick itself. I'll leave a little bit left right here for my talent igniter. I'll hook that up, wire the um, wires right here, and then tape this off as well for security purposes.